Hello, this is Max with 254 Repair. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over the repair of uh, LG G3 charging port. So without too much into it, as you can see, the battery is totally dead. We cannot charge it. So we're going to go ahead and start taking it apart and get ready to replace that charging port on the phone. So we're going to speed up the process of removing the screws. There's not too much science. All of them are completely the same. So you just go ahead and replace, uh, remove the screws and uh, re remove those uh, plastic covers until you get access to that logic board. Once we get there, we're going to go ahead and start de disconnecting the um, LCD connectors and so forth and so on that is attached to your logic So we got it. Uh, we got all the plastic covers. So we're going to go ahead and detach the connectors on the bottom uh, and then the top and remove that logic board from the frame. Once we get the logic board out, we're going to go ahead and replace that charging port and we're going to guide you to the, through the entire process. I'm going to show you everything from the soldering the charging port to soldering the new one. Now that we got it out, we're going to go ahead and start the next process, which is protecting the components around the, the charging port with cap, captain tape. We do that in order to protect them from the heat of the rework station and from the soldering iron. We do not want to go ahead and touch any of those components with our soldering iron and then either damage it or damage the soldering on it and then have more work to do so make sure that you protect all the other components with captain tape once that is done we're going to go ahead and place this logic board on our on our rework station okay it's all protected so let's go ahead and put it on the rework station we're going to apply uh, solder paste i mean uh, flux paste and we're going to heat it up at 400 degrees for about 30 seconds before we start soldering on it. We're going to apply new solder to the charging port in order to loosen up the one that comes from factory. And we're going to go ahead and apply heat to the, the little tracks on the logic board and to the four posts on each side of the logic on each side of the charging port in order to soften it up, loosen it up a little bit. Once we get it nice and warm, nice and soft, is when we're going to go ahead and grab the uh, pliers and start removing the charging port. Now, something very important in this part of the repair is that you cannot jack that charging port out of the board. You got to make sure that it's really loose, that the uh, solder, especially in the tracks, is actually completely loose. Otherwise, you're going to damage the logic board and then you will have a phone that you cannot repair. So we are done with this part of the process. So now we're going to go ahead and take our logic board and put it uh, on our little holding tool and remove the excess solder. We need to clear those holes, holes in order to put the new charging port. So for that we use our uh, soldering iron and braided wire and we suck that we suck that solder out of that uh, out of those holes and out of the tracks so you can place the new charging port in place. Okay. 
Now that we got it nice and clean, we're going to go ahead and um, place the new charging port exactly where the old one was. And we're going to go ahead and get started soldering it. Again, we're going to fast forward this part. Basically, what you need to accomplish is to make sure that every single one of those tracks are actually soldered to the, the little connectors on the charging port. And at the same time, you want to make sure that there's no shorts in between them. Otherwise, your data transfer or your charging itself will not work. Uh, we leave the captain tape on in order to protect the components from the soldering iron. So if we make the mistake and we move that soldering iron near one of the components, it is a little bit uh, protected and there's less chance of us, of us damaging it. So again, we're gonna fast forward this part of the process. Like I said, it's just a matter of soldering it, uh, not making a short and making sure all the connectors are soldered in place. Once we are done with this part of the process, we're going to go ahead and remove the logic board from where we got it. We're going to examine it, make sure that all the connectors are the way they're supposed to be. Uh, right now, we're pushing down those prongs from the charging port so they can touch the logic board. And then we apply a little bit of solder paste. Once we are done with the soldering process, which, uh, as you can see, we go, we go ahead and touch every single one of the, the, the prongs. We're going to go ahead and examine it. We do have a microscope in the shop. If you don't have one, use a magnifying glass, but make sure you examine every single one of the connectors. And as you can see, we're going to go ahead and show you the finished process. Everything is properly soldered. Uh, the camera is not, the lightning is not helping us too much, but basically you, you get the idea. Now it's time to clean it up. So we use the nature alcohol and we're going to get rid of all that gook from the soldering paste. Once the logic board is completely clean, we're going to go ahead and start assembling the phone. So there's no need to watch this slow motion. So let's go ahead and fast forward it. And once we are ready, we'll start putting back the phone. Like I said, is uh, from now on is just reversing the process of the disassembly and putting it back together. So we go ahead and put all the screws back in place. We fast forward this part of the process too. We clip some of the parts of the assembly also. Uh, like I said, is is not rocket science. You just put back the plastic covers, the battery, you seal it, and go ahead and connect that charger to the phone and see what happens and there you go we got it nope nope there it is life is good said LG so we're gonna fast forward this and we're gonna get to the point where we actually show you the device charging thank you for watching and don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel I hope this was useful for your repair